Hello, geography students. This is Mrs. Politsky, and we are doing a continuation of notes from yesterday. And we are getting ready to wrap up our discussion about Chapter 11, Section 2, The History of Western Europe. And so we're ready for number 32. So if you can find that in your packet. But World War I began in 1914 and involved all of Europe due to the rivalries among European powers for new territory and some of the economic power struggles that they were having. And from 1914 to 1918, this war was fought, resulting in the death of millions of people and great destruction. Germans fought and lost World War I. And because they were blamed for starting this war, um, the German government was forced to make payments for damages as a form of punishment. Uh, sometimes that is known as a reparation. Uh, some of the, the rulers that you need to be aware of um, for the war itself, the German government was led by a guy named Kaiser Wilhelm II, who you see here with the big bird kind of on the top of his helmet uh, and that funny mustache that he has. Austria-Hungary was led by a man named Emperor Joseph, and these two powers were kind of the ones who were blamed for starting this war. Uh, this was a war that was noted for trench warfare, and uh, as a result, there were a lot of people who died uh, tragically, some of it because of the weapons. You had machine guns and gas warfare and tanks and aircraft that uh, were being used probably for the first time in this war and resulted in carnage. So with World War I, this ending, and this led to an economic depression. And some say it led men like Adolf Hitler and his Nazi party to seek the glory, former glory of Germany. And this is gonna lead to the rise of dictatorships throughout Europe. In 1939, World War I or World War II began officially when Germany attacked and invaded Poland. Uh, the Nazis believed that Germans were a superior race and they carried out the Holocaust, which was the government sponsorship of the murder of roughly 6 million Jews. Uh, all in all, uh, there were roughly 12 million people that were killed by the atrocities of the Nazi government during this war. Great Britain was tested during both World War I and World War II. Uh, during the Second World War, the nation was led by Prime Minister Winston Churchill, who you see pictured below here with the peace sign. Uh, he encouraged his nation to continue to fight, and they fought Germans courageously. Uh, sometimes he talks about their finest hour uh, when the, the British were basically being bombarded by Nazi aircraft, and yet the British people would not, uh, not surrender and not give up. Germany lost the Second World War to the Allies, which were the United States, Great Britain, and the Soviet Union, or the USSR, in 1945. And between somewhere between 40 million to 60 million people died during the course of the Second World War. After World War II, the United States and the Soviet Union were the leading world powers, and this led to uh, the threat of war or a Cold War between these two nations. Uh, the Cold War was kind of a stalemate that started in 1945 and lasted until the Cold War ended uh, with the collapse of the Soviet Union in 1991. But countries like Germany were split. And so there was a time period during the Cold War that there were actually two Germanys. There was West Germany, which was uh, kind of supported by the United States, Great Britain and France, and an area known as East Germany, which was supported by the Soviet Union. And even the city of Berlin, as you can see in this diagram, was split uh, between West and East Berlin. Uh, the wall that you see that these people are standing on in the 1990s, uh, this wall was built in the 1960s by the Soviet or the basically East German government uh, to kind of keep East Germans in and to keep the West out. Uh, but it is um, today gone and uh, the people of Germany have been reunified. So thank you very much.